Good morning, my internet darlings, and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Duel. First off, I must apologize for being gone for so very, very long. Uh, the fact is, just life has been changing up and down, schedules have been changing, so I really haven't really had a moment to just relax and do what I love to do, which is play Pokemon Duel. And you see the team I'm rocking, I got kind of a poison ghost thing going on. It's doing okay for me, but not necessarily great. However, we have gotten a few announcements just now. I'm, I'm actually recording this the night before I'm going to put it out. We've got a maintenance happening on the 1st, which for us will be like the day before, the night before, to fix a couple of things like Gudra EX and Gudra Rare not being treated as Pokemon with the same name. We've got scheduled changes for certain figures. We've got some buffs coming in. Unfortunately, my boy Gengar, he's not one of the buffs. That is very unfortunate to me. But we've got Giratina Altered Form. You may be aware that Giratina has another form origin form to prepare for the coming of the origin form we've altered the shadow ability of ex giratina altered form to a better ability distort that will be shared between giratina's two forms so the altered form and the 100 percent form i'm guessing this ability allows giratina to move to a point one step farther than the shadow ability allowed in addition to letting it move through other pokemon this movement has the advantage of not being affected by abilities like territory uh, territoriality and vibrating sound. That's pretty awesome. They changed the Shadow Claw 150 to Shadow Claw 160, changed Hex from 70 to 100. You can also choose to change Giratina's form when you use this new ability to move. If you do any effects of its battle opponent's ability that would increase attack damage decrease in da that damage instead for a fixed period. Now, we don't know exactly how long, but this is very exciting to me. I think Giratina is definitely going to be used a lot more with all of this. We've got Tapu Lele. Change Psy Shock 2 star to Psy Shock 3 star, which is what it should be, to be honest. Psy Shock is an attack that knocks out the battle opponent. It has a special condition or weight. It also gives the battle opponent weight 3. So once you spin Psy Shock to hold back the battle opponent, you can go for the knockout on the next turn. Gardevoir, Corellia, and Ralt all together. They've changed the effect of the Ghost Sensor ability. Uh, it used to be used just to block the passage of opposing Ghost-type Pokemon. They've expanded the scope of the ability so that it now blocks all opposing Pokemon. This should help with these figures deal with Fairy-type Pokemon and Flying-type Pokemon too. The ability can't knock, can't block non-MP movement, such as that from Distort or Spaceborn. So it's not going to block, for instance, Poipol's ability to jump three spaces away. We've also made the following adjustments to EX, Gardevoir, and Ralt. And this is one of the things I'm really excited for. They've changed Gardevoir's Moonblast from 70 to 140. Like, wow. I never really saw Gardevoir as a very usable Pokemon, but uh, this is going to change my mind, I think. Uh, Ralts, they've changed the effect of Imprison. We've buffed the Imprison attack such that when a Pokemon with an Imprison marker spins the Imprisoned attack, it becomes a miss rather than making them re-spin the attack. That's good. I, I heartily approve of that particular thing. It's going to make Ralts much, much more usable in the future. Delphox. This one is for SHD. They've changed Fire Blast 70 to Fire Blast 140. Wow. Changed Flamethrower 50 to Flamethrower 80. Substantially buffed. Definitely. Braxian. They've changed the Light Scream to Light to Flame Kinesis. <coughs> Previously unique to Delphox. Flame Kinesis is a strong purple attack that moves the battle opponent to a point three steps away. With Flame Kinesis, UC Braxian should be able to play a larger role in addition to being able to evolve to EX Delphox. 
I definitely can see SHD playing with this as soon as it happens, pretty much. I can't wait to see what he puts out. Chandelure changed the effect of the Soul Burner ability, changed Inferno 110 to 130, made the brand wider, and made its misses narrower. So this is going to be another one for SHD. The Soul Burner ability has an effect that knocks out all Pokemon that have branded markers on them. However, with the difficulty of attaching branded markers, there didn't seem to be much of a payoff when one was successful. We've reevaluated this ability, changing it by giving it a powerful effect such that when EX Chandelure is knocked out by attack damage, if you choose to exclude Chandelure from the duel, it excludes all Pokemon with the branded markers on them. We've also slightly adjusted the width of branded. Little Lampet changed Flamethrower 50 to 70. Gorgeist. Oh my goodness. Changed the effect of its Harvest Festival ability. When Gorgeist was excluded from the duel, the Harvest Festival ability had the interesting effect of also excluding all Pokemon with pumpkin markers on them from the duel. However, there were limited abilities for it to trigger. The season of pumpkins is almost here. So for players to be able to better enjoy this figure, we've changed both the trigger and the effect of the ability to KO rather than exclusion from the duel. So that's very interesting. I can't wait to play with play around with that one, see what we can get going. Ghastly. They've made the Destiny Bond wider and made its mist narrower. We've slightly widened Destiny Bond to make it easier to use. Ghastly cannot surround other Pokemon. It cannot surround itself, as we know. So it's a figure with interesting uses. And that is all of the scheduled changes. So nothing. Nothing for my boy Gengar. I'm disappointed. But as you can see, definitely looking like another Ghost and Psychic banner. And I'm definitely looking forward to it big time. Also, a little bit of a teaser ghostly dual week events are coming we have no idea what is going to happen except you can get shiny gyarados by logging in sometime between the first and the 16th you just have to log in once gives us absolutely no information whatsoever about ghostly dual week so i'm very interested to see what happens there what type of thing is going to go on they said it's something new, so I don't see a team match event going on, but uh, we'll see. Maybe it'll be a tournament. They've played around with tournaments so far. Uh, maybe this is going to be a new way to do tournaments. Uh, but that is actually, unfortunately, going to be it for right now. As you can see, I've got 3,655 gems at the moment. I'm trying not to gem it up in the Queen's Cup. Um, only at... 1850 points right now I'm nowhere near where I should be but uh, I, I kind of grinded that this morning when I was able to I won't be able to pretty much at all tomorrow so we'll see how that goes but again so sorry for being gone for so long now that things are kind of stabling out I'm hoping to be able to change that and bring you more episodes in the coming week but for now I want you to have a wonderful weekend and I will see you later.